Welcome to the Rainbow Gateway Oracle, Virgo. We have a Black Forest reading that we're going to do tonight. I've got like a Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves vibe going on. I don't know what it is about that, but it's like, you know, witch's cottage in the forest and like the old timey stuff of life when there was kings and queens and a whole different experience of life. So this is the Black Forest and we're going to be talking about your experiences of life. We have the archetypes, we have the Green Witch Tarot and the Wildwood Tarot and we have dragons and cats and things. We're going to have a good time here. We're going to start with the archetypes. And I want to thank you for coming and watching the reading. We have Rescuer coming out. There's something about me that is drawn to herbalism. I studied Chinese medicine. I love like the idea of like growing herbs and selling medicine and providing treatment and care to others to help them heal their hearts and just growing things in life. And I have the Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to get another card here. Spirit of Nature Oracle. We have the Hawthorne Tree. I'm going to pull some more tarot here. Okay, well, that's really good vibes. Someone's definitely coming in to help you. You're getting a leg up. Someone's coming to help you. Someone's coming to help you. Like, I feel like they're on their way over. You're going to, like, let them in the house. You're going to meet them outside, wave them in the door when they're pulling up. Like, they're on their way. They're on their way. They've been busy. They've had a lot of things going on. Hunting. Rebirth, giving yourself a second chance. We're going to read the Hawthorne. Might take me a second to find it. Here, the. Looking up the Hawthorne, getting this reading to come together here. Green man wisdom, challenge open the way before us. Challenge opens the way before us. So whatever's been difficult here, like with the rescuer role here, I'm seeing the light attributes. So we have provide strength and support to others in crisis, acts out of love with no expectation of reward. 
you're like sending a life raft out for people or they're doing that for you. One of the two. I feel like it, but it's not in the negative. It's like this is needed. This is doing really good work for other people. But recognizing the various challenges within that. There's this feeling of like hunting for opportunity, looking for opportunity. You're not finding the opportunities that you need. This card, this Hawthorne tree, it says challenge does not always have to be threatening. It can also invite us to explore new territory to test our strength and abilities to the limits. People climb mountains and undertake extreme sports to face the challenges these offer. And most would agree that the experience has given them new insight into their lives as well as an abundance of energy. The fear and uncertainty that arise in the face of challenge can cause our actions to petrify into immobility. Wherever fear is present, power is also possible. One small change of approach and attitude can transmute fear into power, inability into ability, and uncertainty into daring. Three of Pentacles. Three, three. There's definitely um, a new job here. It's going to be really good. It's what you want. It's what you've been waiting for. It's going to be good for your relationship at home. It's also going to be good for you on your own. And you're going to make friends there. This is the thing. You haven't had any fucking chances anywhere and you're doing your best to make something happen. You have the life preserver. It's like the card is rescuer, but you don't really need someone to rescue you. You have the life preserver already, but the right opportunity hasn't crossed your path. But we have rebirth here giving yourself a second chance. You're not beating yourself up because you didn't get the right opportunity. That's not your fault. What are you going to do? Like, that's all you have. If you're going through the desert, what do you have? You have sand, you have a few lizards and shit like that. That's the desert. You can't, you know, make it any different than it is. But eventually you find the oasis or you get out of the desert. You find yourself to the gates here with the hawthorn tree and you find a new terrain, and that's the thing. And then you realize, all right, I'm not gonna beat myself up for this because I found myself wandering through the desert without any freaking water and shit like that. I'm gonna pick myself up, I'm gonna grow through this, and now I'm gonna run into the opportunity of a fucking lifetime here. And this is what's happening. This is gonna be the opportunity of a lifetime for you if this is your reading. Oh my God, I am really excited to see this energy in these cards. And this is definitely, um, what wants to come out is that it's really good for your relationship. It's a really good career opportunity for your relationship. It's not gonna be inhibitive. Black Thorn. Black Thorn. There's um, a bit of a um, nemesis energy with the black thorn that's coming through. Um, you know, there's always a little bit of shadow lurking everywhere in our lives that's meant to teach us. And, you know, that could be the shadow inside of you, whatever. It's like, 
this says green man wisdom magic is everywhere magic lies all around us not the magic of fairy tales but real magic connecting our universe to a living continuum after centuries of being told that it was forbidden the preserve of experts we have now forgotten the magic that lies within us so i'm feeling like this is the like the forbidden energy like you don't want to go into the dark cave because it seems forbidden so you block it off and you don't look at it but it's actually the the way out you know but it looks ominous it's actually the way out this energy so you have to see that sometimes something looks ominous and foreboding but you have to really you know tap into that deeper wisdom in yourself to just allow yourself to face that energy and i feel like that's that's something you already have done like you're aware of that in your life already and it's always going to be there but it doesn't have to be like um It's like that sense in the back of your mind, like, what if this, and it's a murmur. It's like a self-doubt murmur, and you want to let that voice go, but it's always going to be there, kind of like, you know, and recognizing what it is, you've explored it, you know how to get out of it, but it's always there, a little bit there. This flipped over beach I there's definitely a lightening of things it's a lightening of the um that whispering self-doubt voice I feel like actually this is like it's like it's not as black as it used to be is what I'm getting here it's not as black as it used to be in your thought space, in your head, in your mind. It's improved here. And there's an energy of You had to really channel a depth of knowledge that has been innate inside of you since you were a child. That's what's going to help you get through your challenges. You have to tap into that. That's been, you've had it since you're a kid. It's there. It can be developed. Perhaps you're already developing it. It's like, there's that, there's that place in you where you can um, pull from that, sometimes like you're not remembering about but i feel like this is like the awakening this is the wake-up call like this has been the wake-up call for you like having to you know experience this sort of rescuer role like even you know it's showing up in the light side but having to go through you know different layers of that particular role in life Choice, understanding consequences. So you're more careful now to make choices. And this is coming through as making choices, like you're more aware of making choices inside of your head. Like, what am I choosing between right now? You know, like, 
you're understanding the consequences between following a particular line of thinking versus another. And here's this sort of parallel here with these two cards because there's this darker foreboding energy and then now there's this lightness here. It's like because, you know, you might have been choosing this darker energy, but now you're not. Like you're seeing the difference in what happens when you choose between the two and then... We have legacy, persistence, and bliss, cherishing the day, eight and six. You could be born in 86. Like, not giving up here. You're making the choice, like your choice has definitely been to, to like not give up. and to enjoy life, like you've really had to choose happiness. And it might just seem like it took you forever to get through to actually like a happy place in your life, but here it is now, like, and you can take as long as you need to. You don't have to do anything. There's like, to me, snails are kind of magical because they seem to move really fucking slow but then all of a sudden they're gone. They're like completely gone. There's no trace of them. And like, wait a minute, I just saw that snail. It moves so slow, but actually, you know, I always feel like it. there's like some kind of little portal that opens up when they move along magically. And like, there's an element of disappearing, reappearing with a snail. So it's like, There, but not there. There, but not there is what I'm hearing. The Black Forest. We have another Spirit of Nature Oracle to see. So... We have the alder. Like, you need to take a load off. Like, you need to take a load off. I'm seeing that there's time for vacation. But you want to take the time now and do it. And you probably already recognize that. It's kind of like, if I don't go now, I won't go. I won't do it. That's what that's what you're maybe seeing. There's also a sense of just relaxation after a really hard period of time. Finally, oh, there's such, such good vibes in this reading. It's like, grief accepting loss and enlightenment moving forward. You know, it's like, it's been a tumultuous process. You've had a lot of let, You've had to let a lot of people go. Like, they see you with the... It's like you're letting people go because they see you with the, with the rescue thing. What do you call that thing? The floaty. The lifesaver. That's what it is. It's the lifesaver thing. They see you with the lifesaver and they don't treat you right. They don't treat you right because they see you with the tools that you have and 
their subconscious blight. I'm getting blight, which is like I feel like it's a disease for the trees, right? Blight. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's definitely like a blight or spite. It's like, that's what I'm getting. It's like, and you've had to let, let that kind of energy go in life. That's really the work. There's been a lot of work here. And there needs to be a recognition that you may not be seeing the opportunities that you've been wanting, but the universe has been giving you building blocks and other things, other opportunities. But it's like you've had to go through opportunities where you had to experience loss in order to get to the other side. Space. Being in a whole different mindset. Feeling isolated. Yeah, there's no more of that anymore. There's no more of that. That's what's ending here. It's like conquering. The things you had to release. Feeling empowered by what you had to let go of even though it's hard. Destruction, releasing your anger. Not a horse direction. Destruction. There's been a really good lesson here because there's been healing regarding the anger that you feel inside. If this is your reading, this is talking about the misdirection of anger, but it's healing that. Like there's no more of that. There's no destruction anymore. It's like, that's not, you're not directing your anger at other people. People might be misdirecting their anger at you, or you might have done that to other people in the past. Whatever it is, that's been healed here. Like you're not allowing that, you're not accepting that when people like give that to you anymore. That's part, I feel like that's part of what you had to let go of here. You had to let go of people who were like putting their anger onto you and here's the thing. The reason why they put their anger on you is because they need space. That's what this is about here. This is trying to help you understand that. When but it's like, that's the thing. It's like, no matter what, it's still not going to be like a healthy situation. They do it no matter what. And you've had to let go of people that do that to you. That's what you've had. You've had to let go of people that do that to you. And, you know, this does have to do with the rescuer, you know, uh, abandonment, self-abandonment issues, like stuff with Aries energy, stuff in the first house, stuff in the, in the shadows of that kind of thing. We have running. Yeah, the runner, the chaser, the codependency, 
issues are coming out here. This is like all the stuff I feel like that's like being worked through, not a swing, choice and fluidity. It's a choice to be in the flow. It's a choice to move without being able to see where you're going. Like, like following something, but you can't really tell where it's leading you. That's the thing, the universe is telling you to follow that, follow the thing. Allow yourself to be fluid in it. And that's coming up here in your new career and your new job. So it's like, just get on the ride and let it take you. Like recognize that the tracks are already laid and you're just getting in the car and you're just moving along the tracks and the universe is taking you for a ride. You don't have to figure out where the tracks are going and how you're gonna get through it. You just have to kick back and cruise and watch it. Like you're at Disneyland or something, a place like that where you go and you sit on the rides and you see stuff. Like when you go on like the log ride and stuff like that and they have like animated things and you're just watching the ride and you're seeing how everything plays out and how everything just goes and then you get to the end and then you start something else and that's just life and that's what spirit wants you to know is that you can just watch it one step at a time all you have to know about ever is what you're doing immediately in the moment right now what else are you going to do right now? Well, you might get up and go to the bathroom. And then you might sit in the front room. And you might type something on your phone. And then the next thing that you're going to do. And that's all you ever need to really know. You need to know the, the things that you're doing in front of you. And the universe will show you what to do with everything else. The moment always tells you what to do. That's all you have to know what to do is in the moment. You don't have to think about what to do six weeks from now. You don't have to plan things that far. Maybe some people do if you're a planner, but you have to follow your intuition about planning. But then even with planning, that doesn't mean that things actually occur. You have to recognize that the universe is entirely shifty. Everything's moving constantly and things might look one way and then they completely shift to a completely different reality in the next moment of time and you would have no idea one person could walk into your life and change it for the rest of your life one conversation one trip to the grocery store you have no idea what could happen to you tomorrow it's not hopeless you're not powerless even if it feels that way sometimes just remind yourself that you're not okay you're not powerless even when you feel that way and it's okay when you feel that way you have the power. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, ever, good or bad. So you can create a whole negative experience for yourself. You can create a horror movie for your life in your own head and believe that if you want to do that. Or you can create a whole heaven in your mind and believe that and do that. Or you can just be with what is right now. What is going on right now in front of you? Can you put your hand on your knee and feel that and take a deep breath? Can you go for a walk, brush your teeth, feed the dog, change the sheets? Why don't you just do one thing? You don't have to do a lot. It's just the one thing that you wanna do. What about a hot shower or a bath? That can help you get up 
when you feel real bad. Just brush your teeth, take a shower. Don't give yourself anything more to do. Just see how that goes. You know what? If you don't take a shower, who cares? You'll get one eventually. And don't worry about things. And if you do, it's okay. Remember, and we're gonna pull a wildwood because this is coming through for someone right now. Remember that you have value regardless of whether you're sitting around all day doing nothing or you're doing 50,000 hours at a job that you fucking hate. You have just as much value doing nothing as you do working for a job like that. You don't fucking need it. You don't have to work there. That's the thing. That's your choice. You're choosing. Four of Stones protection. There's a real sense of vulnerability financially because it's consistent income, but it's really unhealthy. You have to recognize the universe has you protected. And even though you can feel vulnerable in making those decisions, feel into what is good for your heart. Because if you're staying in something that you can't fucking stand and you're doing it every fucking day, you're choosing it on some level when you're ignoring your intuition. Because your intuition is taking you to healing your heart. And that's ultimately what you want to be doing in life. is finding an open heart because that's the enjoyment of life. That's empowerment right there. Like that's the universe giving you the ability to make your own way. Make your own way is what the universe is telling you to do. You have to make your own fucking way and it's not easy to do, but you're being given the, the ability and the, the spiritual um, knowledge to. Yeah, spirit wants you to have a good time. Like you wanna have a good time enjoy life for once you deserve enjoyment like you deserve to have a good time you've had so many people in your life try to destroy you and sabotage you and everything blows up all the time on you that's what i'm getting here everything blows up on the time on you and you can never fucking get a leg up and that's the thing this is going away you're not going to have that kind of energy in your life anymore. You've been through it. You've done the lessons. You've elevated, okay? So you just have to remind yourself, and that's the challenging part because you get triggered emotionally and you get fearful. It happens to us all. But when you can remember to brush your teeth or take a break and just remember that the universe loves you because you're going to find something little in there that makes you smile. And that's the thing. Remember what makes you smile. You're a student to life. We're all students to life. And it takes time to become masterful in life. And even when you've become a master, you're still a student because there is a gajillion things in the universe to master and you just keep coming back and coming around and doing it again and again and again and healing restoring hope that's amazing that's amazing it's like coming back online after a really dark time and it's definitely coming through uh, with a lot of heart opening.
I'm also getting third eye too. It's definitely aligned. Whatever's coming through for your spring. It's the time to grow what you've been independently working on. Like it's the dawn, it's time to put the seedlings in the ground. It's time to put the seedlings in the ground. It's time. It's time. You got to put the seedlings in the ground. It's time. That's the end of the reading. Thank you for being here with the Rainbow Gateway Oracle. We're going to be doing romance readings and stuff and having some extended readings coming up soon. And we're going to be uh, showing up here several days a month with lots of readings for Virgo and seeing how the channel evolves from there because this is all coming from spirit to you and from my heart too. Until next time.